Did you know everybody, including yourself, wear a mask when they are dating and it falls off gradually after marriage? What? No way. Psychological facts, people do it consciously or unconsciously. How can you handle this? Can you be one step forward to see the future? How can you set your expectations right from the start? In this short video, I'm going to help you see beneath the mask. Let me know in the comments below which one you enjoyed more. If you are seeing me for the first time, I'm Dr. Joe Isaac from Sydney, Australia. If you want to find out more about my purpose or what I do, check the bio in the video description or search my name in Google. Remember to subscribe and ring the bell notification button to receive notifications from videos just like like this one. Your subscription is your charity because any revenue we make here all goes to charity. Five differences between the one you date and the one that you marry, part one. The one you date doesn't want to meet your friends or your family. They want you all for themselves. The one that you marry want to meet your friends and family and know that you're not gonna be here without them. Part two, the one that you date think about their future plans and their career and occupy it without thinking about you in those plans. The one that you marry always include you in those plans. Part three, the one that you date are concerned about their attractiveness for themselves. The one that you marry are often concerned about how attractive they are for you. Part four, the one that you date have to show that they know everything they are afraid to show their ignorance. The one that you marry show that they're open for learning and don't mind learning from you. Part five, the one that you date love the financial cushion that you can help them and often expect something in return. The one you marry, don't expect anything in return and want to build the financial freedom for you. Every relationship with love and every breakup, the struggle is real. I got sick, I couldn't sleep, I had stomach pain, was vomiting, I couldn't stand on my feet, what can I do? He said, think of the egg theory, when it gets broken from the outside, life ends. When it gets cracked from the inside, life starts. When you are broken from the inside, that's the start, a stronger you will rise again. Look in a different direction and move forward. Knowing that you have experienced pain, you appreciate happiness. You know what struggle is you will admire comfort men often ruin any relationship about to start even in the dating process women are the ones that often ruin it even in the dating process both the statements are wrong in fact we should complement each other not compete with one another you may be meeting the right person at the wrong time two signs you need to be cautious of i'm dr joe isaac don't get hooked on the words i like to take things really slow this might be an indication that this person is still recovering from a past relationship i'm not certain if i could really trust when they raise the trust without any triggers for it this is an alarming sign that you may need to be very cautious about how can you manage your emotions everyone tells you stop being temperamental don't be upset i tell you put more positivity negativity leaves. Put more love, hatred comes out. Don't focus on what comes out, focus on what you put in. People will tell you to be yourself and when you try to be yourself, they don't accept you for who you are. They just want the other version of yourself that suits them. Don't listen to them. How not to get disappointed ever. Can you control what people are going to do? No, but what you can control is your expectation. Don't form any type of expectation, only then you will never get disappointed. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments which part you enjoyed the most. Until then, I'll see you on the next one.